Welcome to Business Pitfalls and Profits, where we unravel the captivating world of unfamiliar but successful corporations and explore the highs and lows of celebrity endorsements and partnerships in the business realm. Subscribe now to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you will never miss an episode. And engage with me in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts, your insights, and even suggestions for future episodes. Melanie Perkins, the co-founder and CEO of Canva, started the company in Australia in 2013 with the goal of making design accessible to all, whether it be for logos, business cards, or presentations. The idea for Canva came to her while she was running a high school yearbook business where she realized the challenges students faced when learning design software, like Adobe Photoshop. Perkins wanted to create a user-friendly design platform that would be available to everyone, regardless of their technical proficiency. This early venture, along with her experience in the design industry, gave her the confidence and vision to create Canva. To fund the company, Perkins and her co-founder, Cliff Obrecht, initially raised $3 million in seed funding in 2012. They were able to secure investments from notable figures such as one of the creators of Google Maps. The Australian government also provided a grant of $1.4 million, recognizing the potential of Perkins' vision and the value it could bring to the country's economy. Canva has helped create close to 2 billion designs in 190 countries and has won celebrity backing from the likes of Owen Wilson and Woody Harrelson. The company has also become essential for both amateur and professional designers, with small teams within large organizations like Amazon and Walmart using the platform for their design needs. Canva's success continued to grow. And in 2019, the company raised an $85 million funding round, which gave the company a valuation of $3.2 billion. As of 2023, Canva is valued at $25 billion, making it one of the most successful startups in history. Perkins and Obrecht now have an estimated personal fortune of $900 million. Canva's business model is a subscription-based software as a service that provides graphic design software for non-professional designers and individuals who cannot afford or do not have an interest in hiring one. Canva primarily prices its subscriptions based on the number of users and productivity features that a team needs, such as cloud storage, premium stock photos, and post scheduling. The company also offers a freemium model, which allows users to access some features for free and provides richer features for a subscription fee. Canva's business model has contributed to its significant growth and success in several ways. First, strong organic acquisition engine. Canva has a robust organic acquisition engine founded on search engine optimization, SEO. The company ranks highly on Google for various design-related terms, which helps drive organic traffic and user acquisition. Second, large and diverse user base. Canva's user base has grown to over 60 million monthly active users across 190 countries, including big-name companies on enterprise plans like Salesforce, Marriott International, PayPal, and American Airlines. This large and diverse user base has contributed to Canva's growth and revenue generation. Third, enterprise offering, Canva's enterprise offering, which includes account management, access control, single sign-on, SSO, and bulk pricing, has helped the company attract more business customers. Although enterprise adoption is still relatively new, it is estimated that about 10-20% of Canva's revenue comes from enterprise plans. Fourth, Continuous product development. Canva's key activities include platform maintenance, product development, and integration with third-party apps and websites. The company's focus on continuously improving its product and integrating with other popular tools and platforms has helped attract and retain users. Fifth, unique value proposition. Canva's success can be attributed to its ability to provide a platform where even those with minimal design skills can visualize, design, and create. This unique value proposition has helped Canva attract and retain customers by providing them with an excellent user experience. Social media plays a crucial role in Canva's marketing strategy. Here's how. First, audience empowerment. Canva has taken over social media through audience empowerment, providing valuable content and resources to its users. The company's social media campaigns are well thought out, 
have strong concepts, and transmit meaningful messages, thus providing real value to the community. Second, content creation and brand awareness. Canva simplifies the process of creating social media content, enabling users to produce graphics in minutes. The platform provides social media templates that can be used to capture customer attention, drive social engagement, and raise brand awareness. Canva's social media presence on all major platforms with millions of brand followers helps to expand its reach and visibility. Third, integration with social media platforms. Canva understands that each social media platform has its own image size preference. That's why Canva Pro allows users to resize their images with the click of a button, with most social media platform image sizes already listed in the design tool. This integration makes it easier for small businesses to incorporate social media into their marketing strategy. Fourth, maintaining a professional design standard. Canva helps maintain a professional design standard for all creative types to be shared across social media platforms. Users can save brand guideline details such as color palettes, logos, and fonts for their team, ensuring consistency in their social media graphics. Fifth, communication and connection with the audience. Canva's social media strategy includes using images to communicate how its product can help users design anything easily. This approach helps to engage the audience and demonstrate the value of Canva's services. Overall, Canva's social media marketing strategy has been instrumental in its growth and success, allowing the company to connect with its audience, provide valuable resources, and drive user engagement. Melanie Perkins faced several challenges while building Canva, but her determination, unique hiring process, and investment in technology and innovation helped her overcome them. Some of the challenges she encountered include, first, funding and investor rejections. In the early days of Canva, Perkins pitched to over 100 investors to secure seed investment for her startup. She faced numerous rejections, but used the feedback to improve her pitch and eventually secure funding. Second, building a diverse and talented team. Perkins invested in hiring the right people and building a diverse team to support Canva's growth. Today, Canva has a team of 700 employees across Sydney, Australia, Beijing, China, and Manila, Philippines. Third, competition with tech giants. Canva aimed to take on the entire design ecosystem and make it accessible to the whole world, which meant competing with established tech giants in the design industry. However, Canva's unique approach and user-friendly platform helped it stand out and attract millions of users worldwide. Fourth, scaling the business. As Canva grew, Perkins faced the challenge of scaling the business while maintaining its innovative and user-friendly approach. Canva has expanded its services to include Canva Pro and Canva for Enterprise and has raised significant funding to support its growth. Despite these challenges, Canva became one of the most successful startups in history with a valuation of $40 billion in 2021. Melanie Perkins' vision and perseverance have played a significant role in Canva's success, making design accessible to people around the world. Canva's initial valuation was $1 billion after a funding round in 2018, which made it a unicorn startup. The company's valuation has grown significantly over time, reaching $40 billion in September 2021 after a $200 million funding round. This valuation puts Canva among the top 10 most valuable startups in the world. Canva's revenue growth has been impressive since its inception, and they exceeded $1 billion in annual revenue at the end of 2021, with the vast majority of that revenue coming from recurring subscriptions. Canva's initial valuation and its growth over time have been significant. The factors that contributed to their growth in valuation include, first, strong revenue growth, Canva's revenue has been growing rapidly, which has played a crucial role in increasing its valuation. In 2023, Canva's annual recurring revenue, ARR, was estimated to be $1.7 billion, up 54% from $1.1 billion the previous year. The company had been profitable for the last six years. Second, introduction of new products. In September 2023, the company announced new digital products, including an interactive document tool, a presentation editor, and a website building tool, 
putting it in competition with global tech giants. Third, successful fundraising rounds. Canva has raised a total of $581 million since its founding in 2013. The company's ability to attract investments from leading firms has helped increase its valuation. Fourth, profitability and cash flow. Canva's long-standing profitability and positive cash flow have been key factors in its growth. The company's recurring subscription revenue, which makes up the vast majority of its sales, has been more than doubling, contributing to its strong financial performance. Fifth, enterprise adoption. Canva's enterprise offering has been growing, with approximately 10% of its revenue coming from enterprise plans in 2023, estimated to have grown to around 20%. This expansion into the enterprise market has helped drive its growth in valuation. Canva has raised approx. $581 million in funding over 17 rounds from 45 investors. The company's funding rounds include First, early seed round. Canva raised $415 million in an early seed round to support its growth. Second, seed funding. Canva raised $3 million in seed funding in 2013. Third, Series A. Canva raised a total of $21 million in two Series A funding rounds. Fourth, Series B. Canva raised $15 million in a Series B funding round. Fifth, Series C. Canva raised $40 million in a Series C funding round. Sixth, Series D. Canva raised $70 million in a Series D funding round. Seventh, Series E. Canva raised $85 million in a Series E funding round. Eighth, Series F. Canva raised a total of $331 million in a Series F funding round. This funding round brought the company's post-money valuation to $19.2 billion. Here are some notable acquisitions by Canva. Pexels and Pixabay. May 2019, Canva acquires two of the world's biggest free stock content sites, Pexels and Pixabay, with over 1 million additional free images and vectors will be discoverable inside Canva. And the launch of Photos Unlimited, a new Netflix-style subscription model for more affordable paid stock photography. Smart Mockups and Kaleido. In Feb 2021, Canva acquired Smart Mockups and Kaleido.ai, Smart Mockups, which was created to empower anybody to quickly and easily create realistic mockups. It now has one of the world's largest libraries with more than 6,000 types of mockups. Kaleido.ai is the platform behind Canva's one-click background removal feature. Flourish. In Feb 2022, Canva acquired Flourish, which is a platform that provides data visualization tools so that companies can turn data points into easily digestible charts, graphs, and visuals. In conclusion, we've delved into the success story of Melanie Perkins and the growth behind Canva. We've explored the innovative business model that has pushed Canva to new heights, as well as the significant success Canva has in fundraising. Canva's current journey is a testament to the power of innovation and strategic vision. Expanding from a simple idea to a global force, Canva's unique business model has garnered immense success. Their funding achievements have not only led growth, but also validated their potential to change the design industry. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Business Pitfalls and Profits. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss our next one. And most importantly, share with your fellow entrepreneur advocates. Until next time, stay curious and keep thriving.